Hey, Mike Roderick here with IT Pro TV. Are you bummed about those retirement dates on the MCSA, MCSE, and MCSD exams? Well, good news for you. Microsoft, in response to the COVID-19, has decided to move those out till January 31st of 2021. That's right, you now have until January 31st, 2021, to get in there and finish up your MCSA, MCSE, or MCSD certifications. Some other things that Microsoft is doing is they are working with their partners, their testing partners like Pearson View. Pearson View has closed many of their test centers worldwide and they're closing more and more every day. So you're going to want to make sure, first of all, if you have an exam scheduled, that the testing center is available. How you can do that is you can head over to Pearson View, and that link will be in the description, uh, and you can find out about the testing centers in your area. For example, if I scroll down on this page, I'll see the different regions. You can find your region, expand that section out, and find out if that testing center is going to be available or if it's closed. Now, if it's closed, you can still take an exam. Many areas offer online exams where you can take that exam from the comfort of your own home or in your office. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that your system meets the requirements to take these exams. Now, Microsoft is working very hard with Pearson View to increase their capacity so they can support the number of people that are now wanting to take those exams online. But it is important for you before you try to take it online that you make sure your system meets those requirements. So head over to docs.microsoft.com slash en-us-learn dash certifications, dash online, dash exams. And yeah, we'll put that URL in the description as well to find out about how you can look to see if your system meets the requirements. On this page, you'll find out about what the requirements are to take an exam online. And there's even a link that will let you test your system to make sure your bandwidth and everything else meets the requirements to take that exam online. So fantastic news there from Microsoft about moving those retirement dates for those certifications and increasing their capacity to allow us to take those exams online. They made some more announcements as well that we want to make sure we're aware of. One thing they've done, and I really like this for Microsoft, is they've decided to waive any reschedule and cancellation fees. You know, they understand what's going on with COVID-19, things happen, and you're not able to get in there and take that exam. Maybe the center's closed, or your system doesn't meet the requirements to take it online, or what have you. They're, they're waiving those fees. It used to be you had to cancel or reschedule within six days of your scheduled exam date. They've reduced that to 24 hours. So as long as you cancel or reschedule within 24 hours of your originally scheduled appointment, you'll be no fee associated with that cancellation or rescheduling. Fantastic news there from Microsoft. One other thing that they've done is they've also extended their role-based certifications. So if you have a role-based certification that is due to expire between now and December 31st of 2020, they're going to extend that certification's validity period for another six months. So in other words, if your exam was, or if your role-based certification was uh, set to expire in July of 2020, it's now good until January of 2021, which means you don't have to worry about getting in there, trying to figure out a way to take that exam. Your certification is gonna be good for six months beyond the original expiration date if it expired anywhere between now and December 31st, 2020. So great news for Microsoft as they, and we all deal with COVID-19 and how they're going to help us out, making sure that we can still get certified or that our certifications remain valid. So stay tuned for more updates as they come out. Check out the playlist for more critical updates and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Mike Roderick and thanks for watching.